Hello everyone, welcome back to another Recommended Reads video. My name is Alana. I hope everyone had a safe and happy holiday season. I personally got a lot of reading done during some time off. So I have a lot of recommendations for you. I'll spread that over a couple of videos. In today's video, Chris is first going to recommend and review the novel Last Day by Luann Rice. And I'm going to recommend and review the book Leave the World Behind by Ruman Alam. If you have any recommendations for us, please share it with me and I'll share it with everybody else. So here's Chris's review of Last Day by Luann Rice. I have been reading Luann Rice's novels from the beginning of her career, and her latest novel, The Last Day, is a slight deviation from her usual writing. A reviewer coined this novel a combination psychological thriller cozy murder mystery. This book is loosely based on the murder of Ellen Sherman in 1985 in Connecticut. There are two baffling mysteries in this novel. One is the murder of Beth, and the secondary mystery is the missing painting called Moon Glow. I was on the edge of my seat trying to figure out who murdered Beth and why throughout the entire book. Rice's usual themes of love, betrayal, sisterly devotion, and family are interlaced with a sick murder mystery. Rice intertwines grim murder parts with art and nautical facts to help tone down the disturbing elements and keep the reader intrigued. Rice usually portrays strong, believable women characters, and this novel is no different. Beth and Kate are sisters who went through a traumatic experience 23 years earlier, which also involved a stolen painting. Today, pregnant Beth is found by her sister Kate dead, and the same painting ironically is stolen again. Detective Reed rescued the girls 23 years ago and vowed to keep watch over them. He is outraged that another murder in the family has occurred and will stop at nothing to solve this murder. If you love Luann Rice, try this title out for size. This novel is a little darker than her usual, but it is still a very good read. Last Day can be found at the Brantford Public Library in regular print only. Thank you, Chris. That one sounds really interesting. It's definitely one that's going on my to-read list. To keep with the same mystery theme, I'm recommending the book Leave the World Behind by Ruman Alam. This one is an apocalyptic fiction, but there is mystery and suspense in there as well. It is acclaimed as one of the best books of 2020 and was a finalist for the National Book Award. It's about a married couple from Brooklyn and their two teenage children who rent a beautiful Airbnb in the country to quote unquote, leave the world behind. While there, an older African-American couple shows up in the middle of the night claiming to be the owners of the home. They are there because there has been a blackout in New York City and the couple felt it would be safer in their country home. Although reluctant, they let the couple in and together the families try to make the best of the situation since they have both food and power. But neither couple fully trust one another. Strange unnerving things begin happening around them, making everyone question what has really happened in the city and whether it's safe to go back and investigate. A lot of people have described this book as a slow burn, meaning it's very character driven. If you're looking for a mystery that is a little more fast paced, then this one probably isn't for you. I usually like my books a little more fast paced than this one, but it really kept my attention. I thought the writing was very well done and it was a perfect amount of unsettling. This is definitely one I think would make an excellent Netflix or a miniseries. There are elements of apocalypse, elements of mystery, elements of race relations. It's quite well done. If you're interested in it, we do have it available to put on hold in all formats. Finally, I'd also like to recommend the Brantford Public Library's virtual Thursday Night Author series. It's free to register and attend. Information will be in the description of this video. First up, on February 4th, in celebration of Black History Month, we have Carolyn Smarts Frost, who will discuss Branford's early African-Canadian community and discuss her book, Steal Away Home. Thank you all.